Stuffed cabbage rolls that are easy to make? They are. Follow me. My name is Jersey. Let's get started. We washed this and took most, most of the core out. I'm going to plunge it in boiling water. You only do it for a few minutes. The leaves will start separating. Look at the beautiful green. Then I'm going to put them on the rack over here. I peel off the leaves, let them cool on the rack, put them back in the boiling water, peel off the leaves that fall off and put them on the rack. Now this isn't a very pretty one, but it's what I line the bottom of the pan with. So I'm going to put that over there. I like to keep it moving. I rotate it. You can pull it out, pull off your leaves, put it back in. This is the way my mother's done it, so I'm sure there's other ways to do this. You can either cut this out or use it to line the bottom of the pan. I always do two to three leaves in the bottom. I put sauce, a few leaves, sauce, and then I layer the stuffed cabbage with more sauce on top. If you want, you can use rubber spatulas or tongs. Be careful, you don't want to rip these. And if you can, try to grab it from the stem where it's a little bit stronger. It takes about 15 minutes to do a whole head this way. I just keep my water boiling and keep it moving. You may have to go in, take a small knife, and cut in front of the big cores to release more, which I had to just do. So I went in, I picked it up out of the water, I cut the, the strong vein there, and it releases more. I'm looking for at least a dozen good leaves with two to three leaves for the bottom. Look how gorgeous the color is. In the fall, I can find better cabbage at the local farm market. And I'm going to make the sauce that I put under and over the stuffed cabbage. Also, it's a side dish because we have mashed potatoes with this meal, something we grew up with. Now for this, for today, the sauce I'm making is organic roasted red pepper and tomato soup. I'm gonna heat that up a little bit I don't need to add any spices. I am gonna add a tablespoon or so of this concentrated tomato powder. It's like a paste. It thickens it up a little bit. I use a diffuser whenever I use glass. You can use tomato soup, spaghetti sauce, marinara, whatever you like. This is what I had on hand. And truthfully, I didn't feel like cooking down tomatoes that I have in the freezer today that I got off the garden last year. That's what I usually do in the winter, but here it is summer, 95, 100 degrees. I really don't feel like standing at a stove too long. Give this a stir. I'm going to let it simmer while I'm making the cabbage. I'm not looking to actually boil it. I'm going to turn this on low. Let's head on over to the table and let's start rolling our cabbage. And as usual, I'm going to tell you when this cools down, put this in your garden or your compost bin. High in nutrients, has a lot of vitamins and minerals. Really good water, but make sure it's cooled first. Look how beautiful these are. The ones with the little blemish on them, I'm going to layer in the bottom of the pan. I'll put sauce in and layer some, so I'm gonna move these aside. I'm looking for about a dozen. So obviously I'll do the largest ones first. And what I like to do is cut this vein out. It saves somebody doing it on their plate. So let me move this and we'll begin. For this recipe, I'm going to use ground bison because we don't really use beef. We use bison instead of beef. You can use whatever ground meat you would like. One egg, about a cup, cup and a half of rice. I cooked mine the day before, so it's nice and cool. I use about a cup, cup and a half when I make this. All depends. I can tell by looking how much rice I need but I cooked one cup of rice, so it gave me about two cups of rice. I'm gonna pre-crack my egg as I always do. Make sure it's still good. Save your eggshells. I have a whole post. I'll leave the link above and down below what you can do with eggshells. I dump my meat in there, blood and all. I never drain my meat. Add your egg, salt and pepper to taste. I love using a little bit of gram masala. And I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit in my sauce. Purely optional, you don't have to, but as usual, when I'm cooking bison or red meat, I add a little bit of liquid smoke. Purely optional, concentrated beef broth. Now this is sealed. I put it in there hot. I'm gonna start with a Oh, about a half. I 
And with any meat, you do not want to over mix this. You can get tough meat. Add a little more rice. It's up to you how dry you would like it. Mix in, but don't over mix. You can either use designated scissors that are sterile, and you want to cut down a little bit. Get rid of that hard outer core, or you can do it with a knife. Whatever's easier, just make sure you don't cut the leaf underneath. Personally, I like using scissors. Put those in the compost, give them to your chickens. I'm gonna go ahead and do them all. I don't know how many I'm gonna need, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do them all. Because even if I eat this steamed with rice later, I still want the core, this outer core off. Even though these are going in the bottom of the pan, I'm going to eat them, so I wanna remove any blemishes of the ones that are going in the bottom of the pan. I love this pan because it has the pour spout. And I'm just gonna pour a little layer in the bottom. And I'm gonna go ahead and layer some in the bottom. This would be on the rare occasion that it sticks, but I like always having a bed of the extra cabbage leaves. I wouldn't be using these to roll up anyway, so why not just put them in the sauce? All right, so let's begin the process. Easy peasy. Let me do a little bit more sauce for the bottom. I forgot to mention that when I cooked my rice, I put my dehydrated onions in it. If I did not put the dehydrated onions in the rice, you would need to cut up half to a quarter or half to a whole onion, saute it in about a tablespoon of butter and just until it wilts and it's a little bit translucent and then you would add it to your meat rice mixture. But as you can see, right there's an onion. My onions are already in the rice. I'm gonna move the pan aside so you'll be able to see. I start with the V. I like to spread it out a little elongated like this. Fold it over, and I pull this up, and I tuck the ends under just like when you make bread. And then you layer it right in the pan like that. I'm gonna layer them all the way around. Again, take your next one. You could pack these more. Ray and I like to have more cabbage, less meat, so we can have actually more of these. My mom used to stick a toothpick in them sometimes. You want your tuck sides down. Let me do these and then I'll be right back. And as you see, we got 10 of these. Usually I get 10 to 12, all depends how big or small the leaves are. I'm gonna add a little more sauce on top. Sometimes I do this in an electric skillet and I'll cook it about 275, 300, really low for about an hour. I'm gonna put this in a 350 degree oven with the lid on. I'm gonna check it in 30 to 40 minutes. We have a little rice left. Put that on the side, but normally I like to Tomorrow for leftovers, I'll make mashed potatoes and a little of this extra sauce will go on it. And that's how we were raised eating this. It's been sitting out about 20 minutes. I got busy filming something else, but let's cut into one and show you. As you see, there's a lot of juice still on the bottom. There's a lot of juice down there. We'll take that and pour it over the top. Plenty of juice, perfect. Like I said, I'm gonna reheat the other, nice and cooked done. This is very nice and tender. I like it less cooked because I know this is going to be three meals. If I were to really cook it, if I was only going to eat this in the first meal, I would have cooked it 40 minutes. I cooked it 30 minutes. I'd rather have it a little tougher on the tough side because I'm going to be reheating this two more times. So I'm going to reheat my rice, heat some more of this sauce, put it on, have some buttermilk biscuits. I have a full tutorial on that up there. Check it out and bon appetit. Please subscribe, hit that bell, and most important, please share on social media.